Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you're watching Newslink on DSTV Channel 403. So police have shut down a protest by Kahiso residents on the West Strand. Community members had earlier blocked roads. They're threatening to confront illegal miners with or without the support of police. Now, dozens of suspected undocumented illegal miners have been arrested in the past few days. That's following gang rapes at a mine dump in Krugerstorp last week. ENCA reporter Ngobile Matlala is covering the story for us and joins us now. Good morning, Ngobile. Earlier on you were by the ex exit or entry into Kahiso, but I see now you are inside the community. What is the latest there? Are they congregating and still protesting inside? Well, Mfundo, just to show you, these are some of the people. Now, where we are, we know that it's an informal settlement. We understand that some of the community resides in this area. And, of course, what you see there is a mountain. And on top of the mountain, what we have is illegal miners. And these are the people that the community has basically, on either ends of the mine dump, they've gathered across, and they're trying to get to them. We've heard gunshots. We're hearing... Um, from the people that they do have quite a number of, of ammunition and so we've heard um, gunshots as the community goes closer but you'll see there at the top there's quite a number of them so they've a bit they're a bit uh, cornered at the moment we're going to try and get some of the community members to speak to us but uh, quite a number of them don't want to be on camera so we'll try our luck uh, if they are part of this, where are they? Because they were supposed to be here, but it was but it was but it was Where are they? Do you feel the support? The support from the police is not there. It's not there at all. It's not there at all. Right. So, where are they? Maybe they are Because they are supposed to be. Hey, Because no, we are not going to be able to get the money. Because we are not going to be able to get the money. Because we are not going to be able to get the money. Because we are not going to be able to get the money. Because we are not going to be able to get the money. Because we are not going to no, we need protection here, my police. That's what we need. We need protect. I mean, this thing here is a halakoba sadi. So, are we going to sit down and wait for nothing? Jengo Mamanje, who lives in this area, do you feel safe? No, I don't feel safe. I don't. I don't feel safe. I mean, we've got kids. So we can't even go to Spasa shop. Spasa shop. They said they will be next to us. Where are they? So we have no one here. Mama, when you say you can't even go to a Spasa shop, why is this? Yo, how will we go to a Spasa shop? Whereas you know, they are all around. They are all around. Hey, so we are scared. They must just go back to their county, finish and clap. Because they are, they, they, the law in the South Africa also Leona Yare failed. So Begitele must step down, let the youth take over. So we will see the change. When you say the law fail, fail, fail as, as South Africans, why? why? How did the, those uh, Zamazamas, I mean Basut, get to South Africa without the papers? How did they get here? So you can see the, the, the borders. Everything South Africa is failing South of, uh, the, 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 the community. Look at the community now. They're scared to go on their own, on the streets. So now tell me, if you guys are on your own, do you feel safe? We don't feel safe. How can you, you as, uh, as a South African, you don't feel safe in South Africa? How is that possible? Because of Peggy Taylor and the South African law, pain in the community. Peggy Taylor must just step down. He's, he's too old. He's too old. He must just step down. Yeah. And, and what do you want to see the government do then? Peggy Taylor must just resign. Let, yeah. The way they've hired the soldiers on the COVID-19, 
uh, to run after the community. Let them, uh, let the South African law hire them now for those Zamazamas. They must just go back to their country. Manje, Ma Manje what are you guys going to do today? I mean, we, we heard there's gunshots there when we were just parking here. We're hearing gunshots. Are you not scared? We're not scared. Are you going there still? No, we're not scared of Basut. We're, we're not the South African police. They are the ones who are scared because now they are sitting in their offices. They are not doing anything. They are working together with those Zamazamas. Mama, how does it make you feel to, to, to say that, to feel that the police are not protecting you? Sorry? Was this Waganja and Jango, but some police are not protect? Are you good handling? They fail us. Seriously. We have children. Okay. So, I'm going to go to the colonel. He said, What? He said, Refer illegal immigrants. He failed. Lino, Rasanta Mesma Police are at that corner. Hi, Safi. Where did you find this illegal immigrant, sir? Mommy Cotinia Aboni. Oh, one confessed for it. He's working with them. But they are nowhere to be found, my police are. They never ran a Siponis. I fail us. So, Manjava, Ufunubona Gwenzagalan. All these undocumented foreigners they must go. They must just go. What I, I wish our soldiers back on campaign, they must just try correct. Our people are dying because of Zama Zamas. But I don't to use medication. So, Manjo, you guys are just charging forward despite the police? Yes. Our life is at stake as we speak. Are you, are you scared for your children, Bob? For the sake of my kids, I have to stand up. Their future is on our hands. If, as parents, we don't go out to protect them. No one will be, because with our police, no one is protecting us. Well, Fundu, as you can hear, quite a number of community members, as you can see, they're joining here, um, and they're charging forward, of course, to that illegal dumps. But you can see they're gathering. The streets are still full. You can see it, it's quite a number of them here. So it continues, as you can see, and as you can hear them, Fundu, they're saying that they feel unprotected and that they feel that um, the police are not here. And we have not seen the police here. The last time we saw them was, of course, in the main rift. But it continues here, yeah, of course, on the ground. And I'll still try and get some of the people that are here to hear what they really want. Mama Nina and Funukten. Me na ngitu skatele, skatele bantu na beto basa kono kambi strate. Enga la besu tulaba. Nama poisa langa zuzuzo si zamane chaya zayes. Mawas nige zele uniformu si koke si baba ni siku chukse chenza kancha. Si chipeki kwa le vuka jonga mpatu ama poisa. Uende into efanele. Si chuku mezeki le si ngaba fazi si katele. Asi kasi asi sangu zino puma. Si zbaza shopu si asa ba si ngaba fazi. Saba. Those are the sentiments on the ground, of course, Nomfundo, as the community continues. Now, every single part of Kakhiswa, as you come in, in the township, um, it's blockaded. Um, there's rocks on the streets, there's tires burning, and there's no police in sight where we are. Um, we know that they've gone to the mine dump, though some of the leaders have gone to the mine dump to continue, and we've already heard some of, of, of the shots. Um, mm -hmm. from, the per from, from the illegal miners, from what we have heard from the community. But mm. we are on the ground, of course. We'll keep updating you, Fundo. All right, Mobile, but a very worrying situation that's unfolding there, especially because the police are nowhere to be found. Hopefully, we don't see a standoff between the illegal foreign nationals as well as the community. But uh, we'll keep, we'll get back to you as soon as we hear of more developments. That's Mobile Madlala just giving us the latest there from Kakhi. So we